Today, we'll learn how to create custom problem report packages. Problem report packages are the list of options for tickets that sync back to your PSA. They're also what end users use to send tickets to you. To start, let's navigate over to the Partner dropdown on the left and click on Content. Once we're here, we'll scroll down until we locate the Problem Reports area. You'll see that there's a sample problem reports pre-populated into your account. If we click on it, you'll see that we've already gone ahead and created some of the more basic problem reports, or tickets, for you. Still, you might need to make some tweaks to really make this catalog your own. To do that, we recommend clicking on the Save As icon at the top and making a copy of the original sample problem report. You can name it whatever you like, but for this example, I'll leave it as the copy. Once you've chosen a name, click Submit. At the top, you'll notice that we're in our new copy report. You'll also see that the status of every ticket is unpublished. This is the sandbox from which you can create tickets as needed before pushing them out to clients. Let's take a look at modifying an actual ticket, like this Issues with Microsoft Outlook one. From this view, you can change a few settings like category, subject, description, and even the questions you want to ask during the ticket process. This is also where you can set up workflows like confirmation and routing ahead of time, as well as a checklist in your PSA. Once you've changed the ticket to whatever you'd like, click Submit at the bottom. If you need to create a net new ticket that you don't see in here, click on Add at the top right. It's the same basic concept, you'll just have to start from scratch. You can even use existing categories or add a new one as needed. Now we've learned how to create tickets and modify existing ones, but we're not finished just yet. We still have to publish this problem report catalog to make it live, as well as choosing what clients have the ability to see it. Let's start by clicking the Publish button at the top. The blue pop-up at the bottom tells us the publishing has started. Once the tickets finish publishing, it'll mean that they're live. However, your clients still won't see them because they haven't been assigned this problem report catalog. To assign them the catalog, let's click on Settings. You have a few options here. You can either manually tag companies one by one by clicking on the Subscriber tab, taking off the client you want, and clicking OK. Or, if you prefer to do it in bulk and have your company group set up, click on this Edit button at the top. Assigning problem report catalogs by group can save you time, especially if you've built out specific problem report catalogs by type of client. For example, if I built out one specifically for my healthcare clients, and provided that all of my healthcare clients are already inserted within this group that I've built, I could simply drag and drop it within the company group and have all of my clients within the healthcare group automatically be subscribed to the problem report catalog I'd built. For more information on company groups, be sure to check out our company groups video that I've included in the description. Once everything's squared away, click on Submit. To ensure our problem report package is live, let's go back to content on the left-hand side and scroll down to Problem Reports. We can see that my copy catalog is live with one subscriber and 31 tickets. Be sure to experiment with this feature to build combinations that work for your business and your clients.